Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Gonzalez and Perrin. This extremely beautiful correspondence game was played in 1943. Gonzalez had white pieces, and he started with d4. Perrin played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, pinning the knight, Nimzo, Indian defense, queen to c2, classical variation, knight to c6, knight to f3, d6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight on f6, Perrin castle the king's side, e4, threatening e5, so Perrin played e5 himself, d5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board, black to move. What is the best square for the knight? Perrin played the best move. Knight to d4. Queen to d3. If the knight takes on d4, then e takes on d4, attacking the pinned knight. So we have a queen to d3. h6, attacking the bishop. Bishop to h4, black to move. Would you play g5 in this position? That looks very risky, doesn't it? Perrin played g5 because he had a good follow-up. He had something in mind. Bishop to g3 and we have reached the critical position of the game. Black to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? Perrin played the knight takes on e4. Surprising white. Well, the first move that comes to mind is queen takes knight. Gonzalez captured the knight on d4 with knight. What happens if queen takes on e4? Then, black is winning very quickly. Can you see how? This is how. Bishop to f5, and where is the queen going? If queen to e3, then family fork on c2. e takes on d4. Attacking the knight on c3. Queen takes on d4. Black to move. Perrin played rook to e8, lining the rook with white king, threatening some kind of discovered check. White move. Gonzalez considered bishop to e2 and didn't like the idea, so he castled queenside, choosing the lesser evil, so he thought. Let's see what happens if bishop to e2. Then knight takes on c3. Pawn takes knight. Queen to e7, threatening queen takes bishop checkmate. Castling, and now bishop to c5, attacking the queen, saving the bishop. After queen, somewhere, black wins a piece. So Gonzalez castled queen side. But now knight takes knight, wrecking the pawn structure around white king. Pawn takes knight, bishop to a3, check king to c2, bishop to f5, check, developing the bishop with the tempo, king to b3, if bishop to d3, then bishop to c5 is very unpleasant, very unpleasant, huh? Okay, so we have king to b3, c5, daring white, to capture the pawn on Passan. Queen to d2. If d takes on c6, then pawn takes pawn. King takes bishop. Rook to b8, threatening queen to a5 checkmate. c5, queen to a5 check, queen to a4. Queen takes pawn check, and how to defend the king? With queen, and then rook takes queen. So we have queen to d2. Queen to a5. 
bishop to d3 black to move how would you continue perhaps bishop to d7 comes to mind which looks very good Perrin played a sharper move b5 c takes on b5 if bishop takes bishop then queen to a4 checkmate so we have c takes on b5 and now bishop takes on d3 queen takes bishop black to move how to continue to attack Perrin played c4 sacrificing the pawn in order to bring the rook in the game with a tempo queen takes pawn rook from a to c8 attacking the queen queen to d3 and now very beautiful move rook to e4 can you see the threat let's play a random move h4 then queen to a4 check mate well can white capture the rook yes he can capture the rook but then rook takes on c3 check mate so gonzalez played king to c2 black to move black play the move and white resigned the move is in slow motion rook from e to c4 white resigned the threat is rook takes pawn one line goes like this king to d2 trying to escape then rook takes on c3 attacking the queen queen goes somewhere perhaps to f5 then rook takes on g3 check king to e2 queen takes pawn check king to e1 bishop to b4 check how to defend the king with rook and there is a checkmate in one rook to c1 check mate what a powerful attack with black pieces what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now